I thought it as a kid and I still think it now. My mother, Debbie Reynolds, has so much talent, it's insane. Now, you might think I'm biased, so let's look at the facts. Not only can she act and sing and dance, but she can do impressions. Would you prefer the homespun tie? Honey lamb, honey sugar, sweetie pie. Play the accordion, twirl a baton, and, under the right circumstances, play the French horn. When I was little, I couldn't believe my luck. This beautiful, funny, well, movie star was my mother. I mean, walking down the street with her was like being in a parade. In public, I had to share her. She belonged to everybody. Growing up, I never saw my father. We had a small family, so being on the set of my mother's movies was like being a part of a big Italian family. And she was always laughing with the crew, so pretty and full of life. I thought, wow, that's my mom. I knew what other people's mothers looked like. They didn't look like that. Of course, sometimes having a movie star mom was weird. I always joke with her that I should have been born with my skull not quite grown over, because my mother made three movies while she was pregnant with me. Have you seen how she gets thrown around dancing in Bundle of Joy? Hello, that's me in there. Seeing her in How the West Was One really messed with me. My mom was young when she made that movie. Wet or dry, you're the handsomest woman I ever did see. Why, for you, childbearing had come as easy as rolling off a log. Well, I think I'd rather roll off a log, Mr. Morgan. So, how do you explain old age makeup to a five-year-old? Mama, you are great at Lilith. If you're Zeb's children, I am. Needless to say, I've been in therapy ever since. But at home, she was virtually the same woman you see in her films. Not that she rode horses and jumped out of haylofts, if only. But my mother grew up a tomboy and has always had a kind of boundless energy. And she's devilish in a fight. I loved it when she would fight in her movies. Here's one thing I've learned from the movies. That was the best. When I see my mother on screen, and over the years I've seen almost all of her movies, I don't think she's merely cute. Oh, I know what's meant by that. She's impish, mischievous. Hey, Melba, where's Patty? I haven't the faintest idea. At times, she has a goodness in her so dear, you want to bring her home to dinner. She... In an era when cute would have been good enough, she was so much more. In the catered affair, there's a serious young actress there who just didn't get many opportunities for dramatic roles. I'll never forget the look on her face when I told her we weren't having a big wedding. I'll never forget the way she looked. Like I'd hit her in the face. My mother totally shows her range in the unsinkable Molly Brown, her Oscar-nominated role, and her own favorite. Not with Molly Brown on board. That ship may be down, but not me. I'm unsinkable. <laughs> you! Debbie Reynolds wasn't groomed at a movie studio. She's got natural talent. She was discovered in a beauty contest at 16. Within three years, had a hit song. And was dancing between Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor in one of the greatest movies ever made. She made it look so easy. It looks easy because of my mother's talent and her professionalism. I toured with her when I was a teenager. And I can say firsthand, my mother works hard, never takes it for granted, and she loves to perform. But first and foremost, she loves being a mother. In our own odd way, 
we've had a typical mother-daughter relationship with all the highs and lows that started adolescence. But now we're on the phone with each other constantly. You might say I worship the ground we talk on. And now that I'm a working mom, I appreciate what an amazing job she did raising my brother and me while working full time in an era when women didn't do that. Away from the screen, I have another role, a very important one that I share with many of you, the joy and responsibility of being a mother. Like all mothers, I'm very proud of my youngsters. But that's the era my mother came from. The movies she made have real class, and my mother's proud that she was a part of that. Now it's my daughter who can't believe her luck that her grandma is a movie star. She wants to teach her how to tap dance. As for me, through it all, I'm proud that this woman, who is so much more than a star, is my mom. For Turner Classic Movies, I'm Carrie Fisher. Oh, and one more thing. My mother had a big crush on Jack Lemmon. Huge. It's the only time I know that my mother's shown good taste in men. She's a super mom and a super star. Catch the films of Star of the Month, Debbie Reynolds, tonight beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, here on Turner Classic Movies.